Hello, Sonny here again. Uh, before we start, say hello to Darth Vader behind me. See him? There he is, right there in the corner. Anyway, uh, per request, here is Let It Go by Loudness. And this is the intro. So uh, the beginning part, uh, what we want to focus on, and move it closer here, and we are going to play the middle two string on the 14th fret. All right. So basically, it's like a uh, it's like A chord, the, the, the D and G string on the second fret. But instead of playing that, we will play an octave higher, play on the 14th fret. Okay. So it's like a A. Power chord, just a, well, on the 14th fret on a D and G string. But what we do is we play it with your ring finger and your pinky. Uh, see, it's kind of hard to see, but you play with your ring finger and your pinky on the 14th fret of your D and G string. Uh, and that's one chord, and the second chord is like a, um, it's like a major third uh, of like an E major. Okay. Uh, is the 14th fret of your D string with your ring finger and the 13th fret of your G string with your middle finger. So it's that two two chords right here. A E major. Uh, the first part goes like this. Alright. Make sure you do that. Bum, 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 bum. Okay? Uh, you play the 14th fret twice. And then play the uh, the major the E major triad one time, and you mute the mute the string on the 14th fret. You play it twice. Okay, so it goes like this. Uh, practice that. Uh, the next part uh, is a uh, D major triad. It's a 12th fret with your middle finger on the D string. And 11th fret of your G string with your uh, index finger, and that's one. And then you gotta what you do is you put your once you play that chord, uh, you will play like a, a flat five triad. Uh, you don't move your hands, but you put your ring finger on the 14th on the 13th fret of your G string, while your middle finger is still on the 12th fret of your D string. Uh, the second pattern is like this. You play this uh, um, D major try at one time, and you mute the 12th string. You play uh, mute the 12th fret of your D string. You only mute it once, okay? And then you play the uh, flat five triad, and then you mute the 12th fret of your D string. You play it three times. So it goes like this. Just like that, okay? I would play that. Uh, I would play those two patterns until you get it down. So it goes like this, okay? So you play it fast. It sounds like this, okay? Make sure you get that pattern down. Uh, like I say, break it down into sections, so it goes like this. And the next part. Alright, once you get that two, uh, two part down, uh, the next part uh, is the same thing, but this time you only, you only do this right here. That's the difference. You don't mute and play the 12th fret of your D string three times, you only play it twice this time. Okay, 
So here's the whole thing and play slowly. It goes like this. Okay. And then repeat again. The second time you do that, once you play that part, you go you go to the um, you play the open E power chord, open A power chord, back to E open power chord. So the whole thing goes like this, and plays slowly. Sorry, let me play it again. So if you play fast, it sounds like this. That's the intro, and it goes a power chord from D, D sharp, and E like for E. And they do the E, slide up. And they do the D, uh, the D chord. And what he does is put the D power chord, and they puts the pinky on uh, every now and then on the D, on the, on the ninth fret of your G string. So it goes like this. Uh, those chords right there is like an inversion chord. Uh, you do an E major triad, uh, middle finger on the seventh fret of your A string, index finger on the sixth fret of your D string. The next one you move up, same same pattern, but you play on a D major triad. The next part you, you play is a uh, F sharp minor. Uh, you put your ring finger on the ninth fret of your A string and the seventh fret of your D string with your index finger. So it goes out here. And you're back to the E major triad. So it goes again. F sharp minor, E major triad. Just two notes, okay? But you gotta mute the E string. And you go back to that. You walk up from D power chord, D sharp power chord, E. And you, and you just play the. Uh, Something like that. Okay, uh, that would be all. Hope you enjoy it.